Screen Live at breakfast. BBC Radio Leeds. It's eight minutes now past seven. Good morning. Now, if you remember, just think back about 12 days. There was a landmark ruling at the Supreme Court. And the advice there was that bus drivers have to do more to accommodate wheelchair users, even when there's someone on board taking up a space in a buggy. Now, that was a long-fought court battle from, by Doug Pawley from Weatherby, who's here. We're going to talk to him in a moment. And perhaps we all thought, great, someone in the wheelchair will now easily be able to get on and off a bus and not have the problems that Doug had. No. Let me tell you and let me introduce you to Kirsty Shepherd from Wakefield. She's in a wheelchair. This happened to her exactly a week ago, five days after that Supreme Court ruling was passed. Kirsty was denied access to an Arriva bus service between Rothwell to Wakefield. There was a woman already on board with a buggy, but Kirsty says, even though that lady was willing to move, she was, as you're going to hear, left humiliated, upset and stranded at the side of the road. Our reporter, Tracy G, met Kirsty and looks back over the last 12 days. The moment Doug Pawley from Weatherby won a victory in the Supreme Court. How are you feeling, Doug? How are you feeling? Cheers, clapping, champagne corks popping. That was 12 days ago. A win, Doug says, for all disabled people who want to get on the bus. It's great that after five years of fighting and campaigning by so many people that we've got a ruling that shows that disabled people do have the right to catch a bus and that the bus company must make all reasonable efforts to make that possible. The court ruling means that bus drivers are being told they must do more to force able-bodied passengers out of the wheelchair space, but they don't have the legal power to remove them. It's more of a cultural change than official legislation, so it's up to the drivers themselves to enforce it. The question is, are they? I'd like you to meet Kirsty. She lives in Wakefield. She's got Lyme's disease, so she's heavily reliant on her wheelchair for mobility. This is what happened to her last Monday, five days after that ruling, on an Arriva bus service between Rothwell and Wakefield. I'd said to him, it's OK, you don't need to put the ramp down. I can get myself on. And he leant forward into my face and he said, I can't let you on, love. I've got a push chair on. I said, well, ask her to move. Please ask her to move. She can move over to the other side. And he said, I can't do that. I said, but you can, you can ask her to move. I'd seen the mum move over into the left-hand side of the bus. The lady with the pushchair, she did yeah, move. she was lovely, absolutely lovely. She moved. He said, I can't have a pushchair and a wheelchair on at the same time. The people on the bus started shouting, just get the next bus. We've got homes to get to. We're going to end up late home. Um, I'd said, just hear me out before you say anything. But... The wheelchair spot's free and the push chair is secure in the left-hand side and mum's happy. And the driver were refusing, saying, I'm not letting her on. She's not getting on. Kirsty's told us that from the curbside, she ended up in an argument with both the driver and some of the passengers. She managed to speak to the driver's manager, but still that driver wasn't willing to let her get on board. Then something happened, which she says left her humiliated. He terminated the bus and he got to the end of the aisle on the bus and he said that I'd terminated the bus and that everybody had to get off and he let the passengers get off and have a go at me. And all I could think, well, like, this is awful. This is absolutely awful. Why? Why Why is this happening? Me, it's not fair. I just thought, it's just not fair. She's so upset. She's going to be with us in about an hour, um, Kirsty. Arriva buses. This was an Arriva bus service between Rothwell to Wakefield. Uh, They sent us a statement. They say they're investigating what happened as a matter of urgency. The company says it's downloading CCTV footage and speaking to those involved. Well, the man that won the victory in the Supreme Court is Doug Pawley from Weatherby. He fought for five years for that landmark ruling. And he's here in breakfast uh, with us this morning. How are you, Doug? Hi, not so bad. Good morning. I was going to say congratulations on the (laughs) Supreme Court ruling, but for for Kirsty, it hasn't done any good, has it? No, it's a different situation as well. I mean, on her bus, there was a buggy space. So it had two separate spaces. And when the lady moved into the buggy space, that wheelchair space was, was free and available. So I don't understand why the driver couldn't let them on. 
I wondered at the time, it was a victory and congratulations on it. And for mm-hmm. anyone, I've got my grandmother is in a wheelchair and I just know how hard life is. I do. And how people, you're invisible. It's just shocking. However, mm-hmm. I wonder if you thought the Supreme Court ruling went far enough because it's now down to the discretion of the driver who are being encouraged, maybe not in this case, though we wait and see what Arriva's mm-hmm. investigation brings out to accommodate wheelchair users could it have gone further i think some disabled people would have liked it if it was more concrete but however there's always like exceptional circumstances where there's got to be some flexibility i guess i think also the supreme court justices came quite a long way to get to the judgment that they did so you know and we're talking about it now and obviously kirsty has kirsty's instance also prompted that but it has raised a very lot of, of awareness as well so I think that's good Do you think life is easier and we'll use that in a very general term Mm -hmm. for someone in a wheelchair who wishes to use a bus now? I'd say yes and no Um, back when I first started using a bus in a wheelchair it's about 15-20 years ago very few were accessible at all and as a result of disabled people's campaigning now every bus has to be accessible Um, so in that respect it's better but then um, it's also better for people with buggies which is great but if it does mean that sometimes there's times that we're not able to use the bus yeah Uh, Kirsty was so upset and Mm. her story is you know the guy just chucked everybody off yes and and she was also stranded and she tried in certainly from her version to reason with this guy and he just wasn't having it 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 sounds on the face of it as if he's conducted a criminal offense it's a criminal offense in your opinion yes it's a criminal offence for a bus driver to refuse to allow a wheelchair user to get on if there's um, if the wheelchair space is available under the snappily titled Public Service Vehicle Conduct of Drivers, Inspectors, Conductors and Passengers Amendment Regulations 2002. Wow. Uh, the problem is, though, this has never been enforced and nobody's ever been prosecuted. I mean, it can attract a fine magistrate's court of £500 and three points on your driver's licence but I've done research and in fact throughout the whole country since 2002 nobody has been prosecuted for it. Well we'll see what Kirsty wants to do, we'll be meeting her in an hour it's a pleasure to meet you congratulations on your victory and I hope at no point in the future do we have to meet with a story like, wouldn't that be brilliant? It would. Not that I want to see you because I would If everybody could travel on the bus without any issues including people with buggies that would be brilliant Brilliant. Thanks Doug Pauly, lovely to see you from Weatherby, the man behind that victory in the Supreme Court. Kirsty then here in an hour. Well, I'd like you to meet Kirsty Shepherd from Wakefield. Good morning. 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 Now you're in a wheelchair. I am. And you, exactly a week ago, mm-hmm. had an encounter with an Arriva bus driver five days after what happened to Doug yeah. there and his success. Tell me what happened to you. You were absolutely awful. I've never felt so humiliated and stressed in my life. Um, I tried to board a bus from Rothwell, uh, the triple four, and not only uh, did the driver not let me on, even though the pram mother had moved, um, bless her, she was brilliant, she moved out the way, the bus driver wasn't even prepared to ask her, he wouldn't move, and there were a wheelchair, the wheelchair spot free. Um, She'd moved to the buggy bay on the left, um, and he still wouldn't let me on. His manager told him twice, and told me um, twice, that I could get on. And he still wouldn't let me on, and I was left by the roadside. But not only that, he um, terminated the bus, told the whole bus um, that it would terminate because of me. It was my fault. And the passengers had a go at me as they were, were they getting off. To you? Yeah, they Are were you kidding horrible, me? absolutely horrible. I've never felt. I've been through a lot, especially we're going. Ended up in a wheelchair. I've been through a lot, and I've never felt so humiliated and stressed in my life. And we, we've just let's just put this right about Arriva. Let me just tell you what they're saying. They've sent us a statement. They say they're investigating what happened as a matter of urgency. The company says it's downloading CCTV footage and speaking to those involved because you had a conversation with the bus driver, his manager, presumably on yes, radio. That's right. On, on, right. Yeah. Uh, and then we'll have to wait and see. They said they promised to conclude this investigation swiftly. So we've got to wait and see yeah. what they say. I just think this is just so disappointing. It is. On so many levels, after Doug's victory. Yeah, the is. fact you couldn't get on a bus mm-hmm. because you happened to be in a wheelchair. Yeah. And then you and all the other passengers were left on the pavement. I mean, was this was it a row then that was going on? Um, it was sort of like a, a row, a debate. Um, 
because as they were having a go at me getting off the bus and they were, they'd cornered the pram mum as well um, and I t- I'd said don't have a go at it it's not her fault she was really supportive of me um, and then the bus driver kept chipping in and said it is your fault you've terminated this bus and I'd said to him not once did I ever say terminate this bus the thought never entered in my head you just, just wanted to get on the bus I just wanted to get on the bus and in get the home. wheelchair yeah. and get home to Wakefield yeah because it was so cold that day it was absolutely freezing it was late afternoon and it was freezing and it was so cold ever had a problem before no all the other buses and they've been the same type of bus there's been different buses but i've been on plenty of buses that have been the same type the pram's gone left i've gone on the right and it's never been an issue and then the bus that i got on eventually got on quite a minutes later afterwards you were in the call for 40 minutes near enough yeah the the um pram the water pram went on she got on the left i got on the right not an issue. All bus dri- the all other bus dri- buses and bus drivers that have been on have been absolutely fine with this one particular bus driver. We know Arriva are investigating and they're not here to answer, but what would you like to say to that bus company this morning? You, you need you need to make that a definite wheelchair spot. There should be no doubt at all. That is a wheelchair spot, but you should put your drivers through training and make that a definite wheelchair spot. And you need to be putting all of your drivers through a disability awareness, a really harsh disability awareness course for at least two days. Right. That's what you would recommend. Yeah, and I, I, I want that definite wheelchair spot so every wheelchair can get on the bus and there's no doubt about it. There's no issue. All right. I'm glad to see you. I can see how upset you've been. You've done really well with your story and it's very grateful you're coming to see us. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's Kirsty Shepherd from Wakefield. Uh, and that's her story. So we'll let you know what Arriva say. They are investigating that. They said they'll have some answers quickly and hopefully that will be the case.